today we're where the river Gunnel begins its journey way up in the hills there it weaves its way down all the way down right past here and right underneath the road which is uh, in front of me eventually the river Gunnel runs into uh, the Atlantic Ocean and the spring times when the, uh, the high tides come up all this eventually gets flooded and hence the fact that that's why it's all uh, all boggy and full of water and heaven only knows what else but in this area there's a lot of wildlife which I've been trying to capture for quite some time now but um, I will get some eventually um, but we'll go now to where the old Trevempa Bridge stands which has been there since I would think from the 17th, 18th century maybe and show where the, uh, the new Trevempa Bridge is which has actually been replaced twice as I know of so from here pretty well from where the gunnel begins we'll move on to the next location what you can see at the moment is the old Trevempa Bridge that used to take the old horse and carts people because there wouldn't be motorised transport when that built, built and now as you can see the vehicles on the other side of the bridge that's the new Trevempa bridge that has been built twice or re-renovated since I've been here but the bridge itself now the old Trevempa bridge that's not used anymore now. You can still walk across it, but you can't drive across it. Uh, occasionally the horses go across it, but that's about it now. But going back to the River Gunnel, that, that still weaves its way along and has done for generations gone by. And it reaches up towards where the Atlantic Ocean meets up on the estuary. And that is actually where the River Gunnel is. quite a fascinating place uh, to say the least and in the years gone by there's an old uh, boatyard that they used to build boats there many years ago no longer do that now they just store the boats over the winter times now you like but uh, other than that there's nothing really much there now but um, we'll press on a little bit long a bit more get to on the, uh, the bed of the river Gunnel but as you can see the tide uh, has actually receded and in the distance there is a few uh, pleasure craft which uh, more than likely belong to the local uh, residents of Newquay um, they come down here at weekend uh, do a bit of painting job a bit you know uh, a bit of maintenance just to keep them uh, ship shape, so to speak. And as we look round, as we're coming round now, we're looking at an old sailing ship. It is reputed to have been around the world. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But it certainly uh, looks as though it's, uh, it's seen uh, some better days. But it's now slowly sinking into the sand now. And I don't think uh, it'll ever um, move from there now, other than falling apart itself. But uh, nevertheless, it served its purpose over the years. And uh, there's a sign there telling people to keep out of it now, because it's in a dangerous, uh, dangerous state now. But I do believe not too long ago there was uh, some squatters um, 
decided to make home there but um, obviously uh, now it's uh, it's beyond that now as we as we pan round we're going right down now right down to the uh, with the actual beginning of the uh, the gunnel uh, begins and right at the very end in the distance there is the Atlantic Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean uh, in the springtime comes right up this uh, estuary there here which is the River Gunnel and usually this is uh, is all uh, one great big uh, river, hence the fact the name of the River Gunnel. But just halfway down to where the uh, the Atlantic Ocean is, there's a little uh, bridge that crosses over the Gunnel, and uh, people uh, walk. Pleasure takes the dogs across the Gunnel there to the other side. I'm a bit further down, but it's just about you can see is in the summertime a ferry that runs across from Pentire to Crontock. Just a little ferry boat that just runs across, and that's that's usually busy in the summertime. Scattered around uh, the River Gannel. Uh, there's little boats that are just moored there, possibly from the harbour, and we just leave them here over the winter time. And just behind uh, that little boat is there, it's the actual old uh, boat yard where, uh, in days gone by, they used to uh, build boats here. And apparently, so I've been told, it was a thriving business. Um, many many years ago um, but sadly like a lot of things they decline and uh, there is no need for uh, boats to be built down here anymore now and uh, it's just a pleasure just to know that uh, once upon a time it was uh, it was used so we'll move on to the uh, next location which is a little bit further down on the uh, the river gunnel just to uh, give you some idea of what uh, there's a bit further down we're now looking at what was the original dry dock for the old boat yard and boats used to come in here to have the holes propellers and any maintenance that was needed or necessary underneath the boat and this is where they used to bring them. Very difficult to see today this 2013 of what was all them years ago but nevertheless this is what it was. It possibly uh, used to um, sit up on the top there, have their uh, meals. I've noticed there's an old shed there. Possibly be used to be storing ropes and all sorts of fishing gear in days gone by. But as you can see now, all we have now is just pleasure craft. And people just come down, as I said earlier, just to repair them and just look after them in general. But um, it's nice to stand on something that was once many years ago to see these little craft. There's two cover the big ships, the big sailing ships I would say in the days, with the big uh, sails that used to come into New Harbour. 